Hi, I just wanted to go over how to make plugins for the Rebar framework. So let's go ahead and talk about how to do it. First thing you're going to do is, well, install Rebar and make sure you have the whole repository downloaded and so on and so forth. And what we're going to do is we're going to go into source plugins and we're going to make a new folder. Let's just call this my plugin. Okay. And inside of here, we're going to create two folders or actually quite a few folders. We're going to create one called client, create another one called server. We're going to create another one called web view. And then we're going to create a, another one called shared. And I think that's actually it. Um, that should be all that's necessary. Sometimes you, you, you'll use shared and sometimes you won't. It really just depends on uh, what you're building. Anyway, so we're going to create a file in server. It's going to be called index.ts. This is required. You must name it index.ts. This is the entry point for your server side plugin. And then on the client, we're going to do index.ts as well. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to do import all as alt from alt client. And then what I can do is I can log something to the console. Hello from my plugin, right? Uh, and then we're going to do the same thing on server side, except we're going to change this alt import up here to server. Um, and then that'll also log to the console. And then we're going to create a, we'll, we'll do the web view here in a second. I'll show you how that works. Um, first things first, let's do npm, pnpm dev. And that's going to spin up the development server. And what we'll see is that my plugin here has loaded. And we also see hello from my plugin uh, being listed there as well. Now, if I go in game and let's say I spawn and somewhere over here, I should see hello from my plugin, which is exactly what we need, right? So that's all there. Um, we're now able to have our first plugin working. And when I hit control S, it'll automatically refresh the server and I can keep working on my plugin, right? Super easy, super easy to start building a plugin. Okay. So let's talk about a web view, right? Like a lot of things that involve like GTA five, they usually have like some kind of like custom interface or a button or whatever. Uh, I'm going to just show you how that all kind of comes together. So if I do a new file for the web view, let's call this my cool page dot view. And what I need to do is actually, I need to close this and I need to run NPM dev again, because that's going to repopulate this view file. And what we're going to see is some build errors because I haven't set up the view page yet. Um, so I'm going to add some scripting here for the view file. And we're going to do this by creating a template like this. And let's say that this has a button in it. And when we click it, it does something. Click me, right? And if I go up here, what I can do is I can do, um, use events, which is a composable. Um, sometimes it doesn't import it correctly. Like you won't get the. Uh, auto import feature, which is really annoying. So what we're going to do is just do dot dot slash until we get the, um, the pathway that we're looking for. Okay. And we're going to do events equals use events. And now down here, I can create a function called do something like this or does something. <laughs> uh, and I'm going to do events, emit server my cool event right um and you can pass like arguments and stuff like that as well but uh beyond that uh, we're just adding an event so when you click it it goes to the server okay so let's go over to the server and let's say that um i want to make it so that when i spawn i'm gonna make it so that like after i spawn it will automatically uh, show me that page, uh, this, this web view, my cool page, right? Um, so one thing to get used to is you import rebar. So we do use rebar and it's going to be from actually server index.js. That import path was also fine, but this one is a little more standard. Um, so what I can do is now I can do rebar, use rebar like so. And now I can create a, well, a bunch of events. So like, let's say the event um the rebar events here we're gonna do rebar events like so and then we're gonna do rebar events on let's say a character is bound so this is when they fully spawned we're gonna have it pass a player in a document um, we actually don't need the document we only care about the player so we could actually just omit this and we're gonna remove this alt log here and what we're gonna do as well is we're going to show a page 
which is the my cool page page <laughs> to the player. So we do rebar player uh, use web view and then sorry uh, auto completion keeps messing up on me uh, and we're gonna do a show and we can just show this from the server side and our page is called my cool page right and we're gonna assign it the type of page which is very 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 like simple right so now when I go in game and I select my character I should get a button in the top left that's going to say like click me so you see it in the top left there, it says click me. The only other thing is it did not focus it for us. So we're gonna go ahead and get that focus in there. And I think that's truly because um, we log in pretty fast. So this event for the page change might still be like midway through the page being closed like the previous one. So what we can do is just do like an all utils wait. Uh, we're gonna wait for like, um, maybe like two seconds and we'll do an await in front of it. And that should be sufficient enough to give us a little bit of time uh, before we show that page so that everything uh, renders correctly. Let's go ahead and hit spawn. And there we go. Okay, I have my mouse over here in the top left and you can see there's a little button up here. It doesn't look like a button, but you can click it. And that's what we can do. All right, now what we can do now is we called an event called my cool event. So we're gonna go to server. We're gonna do like alt on client my cool event we can listen for the player and then we're gonna uh let's just say it gives the player a weapon we'll do like add weapon or give weapon um and we're gonna go look up a list let's see let's say it's a weapon combat pistol sure let's do that one and then we're gonna give it 999 ammo and we'll equip it right away, right? So when I click on that button, it'll give me a weapon. Very simple, just wait for it to show up, two seconds, click, and now I have the weapon. Right, very simple stuff. Uh, additionally, like maybe when we click it, we can make it like close the page as well, because you know, why not? We do hide my cool page. And yeah, then that's like a simple way to make like a, I don't know, like a weapon selector type thing, um, which looks like this. Click, and there we go. The button has gone away and all my regular web views have shown up. So that being said, that's just like the simple way to set up a plugin. Um, you can do all sorts of like really cool stuff with this as well. Like you can do custom sounds and things like that as well, but that's all in our documentation. Um, you can go to rebarv.com. It's R-E-B-A-R-V.com. And you can check out the documentation to learn more about how to do this. Uh, that being said, I hope you enjoyed this very short video on how to build your first plugin. And uh, maybe you'll find it useful.